As a couple therapist, I get asked this question many times. What do happy couples look like? Do they do anything differently? I respond to these questions by quoting from my favorite movie Forrest Gump. Happy is as happy does. What does that mean? Namaskar parents. I am Dr. Meghna, the therapist mommy. I am a clinical psychologist, parenting educator and a relationship therapist. And today I'll discuss five research backed tips that in my work as a couples therapist seem to really help couples find happiness and satisfaction and set them apart. The third one is my favorite. These are five things that happy couples do differently. 1. Happy couples express admiration and affection for each other. Many of us know how to make up after a fight. but research tells us that we uh, build a bank account of positive feelings if we do small makeup actions before we have a conflict before not after before we have a conflict the idea is to create a bank account of positive feelings how do we do that by expressing our love in little little ways an unexpected text a small favor a note left near the sink little little ways the more we build this account of positive feelings through little loving actions the more we are able to use this you know this reservoir of positive feelings when we then meet a situation of stress or conflict and so when we when we do that instead of seeing our partner negatively we are able to be more forgiving you know when we already have this reservoir so the idea is to look for ways to appreciate and feel fondness for your partner and express those things when the times are good second happy couples make room in their head for their partner you know creating a mental space in your head our lives are busier than usual we face demands uh, on this space in our heads every second there are emails texts housework so many notifications on our phone our children make demands on us too as they should of course as in asking for the attention that they deserve but as we fill our minds with so many bits of information we're actually happiest when we reserve space in our heads for ourselves and our partners you know satisfied couples tell me that they actually fill this mental space with important information about their partner like you know everyday things like important dates you know their favorite foods their favorite songs but also some deeper things deeper things that mean something to them you know something that means very at a deeper level to my partner there's a song that reminds my partner of a special time in in his life uh you know uh, i keep that knowledge in my head and this adds to my private map of my partner asking questions about how my partner thinks about things or feels about different parts of life tells them that i care and that i want to know more about them couples who love well keep these love maps of each other there's this famous researcher called gottman and he talks about love maps right and he says that couples who love each other couples who are happy keep these love love maps of their partners in their minds third happy couples work to build intimacy unhappy couples may seem almost like roommates there is emotional distance there is lack of intimacy and communication is really focused on these transactional mundane aspects of life like picking up the kids running errands and stuff a sense of being attractive and desirable to your partner gets lost also what happens is couples who are unhappy they communicate mostly by fighting or arguing or you know by making sarcastic comments or by pointedly ignoring each other but happy couples prioritize emotional and physical intimacy happy couples create a positive and self reinforcing cycle by prioritizing intimacy they make time for each other even if it's just a few minutes by having greeting rituals when they leave or enter the house by hugging checking in with each other during the day you know using a text or even in person so these are the small gestures that set happy couples apart they express affection and appreciation in words or gestures fourth happy couples repair fights unhappy couples don't resolve conflict arguments turn into ongoing hostility or a silent treatment that can go on for days or weeks but happy couples tend to reach out to each other after fighting to show that they still care even if the issue is not fully resolved what can reaching out look like reaching out can be speaking in a in an affectionate tone of voice making a positive comment using humor smiling suggesting doing a fun or relaxing activity together or apologizing or indicating understanding of the other person's perspective repair attempts 
help your partner calm down and see the bigger picture and then fights are just seen as temporary rifts and not deeper chasms in your relationship so repair your fights with your partner as soon as you can fifth happy couples know their partners in a world you know we live in our heads more than most of us realize we learn to attach meaning to events or rituals to words to gestures and those meanings create a symbolic world in our thinking a world which is often unknown to our partner conflicts often stem more from the reactions we both have to these meanings than actually the real situation outside our heads so it actually helps to sh- to talk to our partners to share our dreams with them dreams that we have for our life our dreams that we have for our relationship it helps when we learn more about each others in a world you know when we're dating we talk to our partners all the time it seems those conversations never end but when we get married and you know especially after we have kids those conversations become so transactional happy couples keep their conversations going not just talking about finance and kids and work but also about each other's dreams and hopes they share their inner world with each other the key to sustaining a happy relationship is learning the habits that will make each other feel happy and safe and when habits take over as habits do the effort that we have to put in our relationship stops seeming like work in fact we often build such routines into our lives together without thinking about them much at all as i often tell people who ask me the secret to happy relationships happy couples don't focus on the big things they do the small things in a big way this is the therapist mommy signing off